Shannon snuck a little extra point in there that I want to address, and that is with regards to my views with regards to protecting a woman's right to choose. And I've been very clear on that. I will preserve and protect a woman's right to choose and am devoted and dedicated to honoring my word in that regard. I will not change any provisions of Massachusetts's pro-choice laws. And with regards to this issue of age of consent, it is currently 18 years old. If one wants to have an abortion younger than that, one must have the permission of one parent. And if a parent doesn't go along, one can go to a, a judge or justice to get that permission. And so far in Massachusetts history, when a young woman has gone to a judge, not one single time has there been a denial of that permission. And so I am in favor of retaining our current law, which is the age of consent remaining at 18. And I will preserve and protect a woman's right to choose. And I do take exception to Shannon characterizing my view as being any different than hers in this regard. The Boston Globe recently reported there's not a paper's width worth of difference between our two positions in this regard, and you've hit the one place, and that's with regards to 18-year-old or 16-year-old age of consent. The law in Massachusetts at one time called for a 24-hour waiting period for counseling before a woman had an abortion. The Supreme Court has upheld the Pennsylvania law, which allows just that. Could you envision as governor of Massachusetts allowing a 24-hour waiting period for counseling before an abortion? Now, I want the voters to know exactly where I'm going to stand as governor, and that is I am not going to change our pro-choice laws in Massachusetts in any way. I will preserve them, I will protect them, I will enforce them, and therefore I'm not going to make any changes which would make it more difficult for a woman uh, to make that choice herself. Any response? My only response is that when, when uh, Mitt Romney ran against Ted Kennedy in 1994, he accepted the endorsement of Mass Citizens for Life. Uh, when he went to Utah and was thinking about running for governor of the state of Utah, he made a point of writing a letter to the editor, uh, to the Utah paper out there, specifically stating he was not pro-choice. And then when he came back to Massachusetts, he's become a passionate supporter of a woman's right to choose. Ted Kennedy said it best. Mitt Romney isn't pro-choice. He's not anti-choice. He's multiple choice. You know, this, is, this, is more, this is a more important election and more important issue than to allow rhetoric and twisting of accurate facts to be entered into. So let's, let's go back and look at those one by one. My position has been the same throughout my political career, and it goes back to the days of 1970. There was a woman who was running for political office, U.S. Senate. She took a very bold and courageous stand in 1970, and that was in a conservative state. That was that a woman should have the right to make her own choice as to whether or not to have an abortion. Her name was Lenore Romney. She was my mom. Even though she lost, she established a record of courage in that regard. She had very strong personal beliefs about what decisions she would make for herself and for her family if offered to make that choice. But she also made it clear that she thought a woman should have her own right to choose and believed in the separation of church and state. I have held that view consistently. The suggestion about my comments in Utah can, can are complete. You, no, let me, let me complete it and then you can ask me, all right? Sure. And that is, when I, was in, when I was in Utah, there was an article written saying I was going to run for governor out there as a Democrat and it made other comments about me. I wrote and said, I'm not going to run for office in Utah. If I run for office, it'll most likely be in Massachusetts. Number two, I don't accept either label, pro-choice or pro-life. Instead, I make it clear that I will preserve and protect a woman's right to choose. I will not use a single hyphenated word. The record does to, not to, uh, the letter does not say the letter does not say pro-life. It just said pro-choice. I don't use any. I, I, I refuse to have the label to refer why to my you, position. Why did you accept, so instead, why did I do you indicate what my view is fully. Why did you accept the endorsement? No, there are a lot of, of people the mass that endorsed citizens me. for life. I, I don't know about the endorsement of the mass you, citizens for life. I didn't seek it. I didn't but you ask for it. it. When you say I accepted it, Your I didn't write them a letter and say. Here, thank you very much your for your endorsement. Your spokesperson stated that you accepted their endorsement. Shannon, I can tell you again, I did not uh, in any way acknowledge uh, their endorsement, nor do, I, do I... When you say I accept it, in what way did I accept it, Shannon? Ask your campaign spokesperson. I don't have a campaign spokesman here tonight. I'm here right now, and I can tell you, I do not take the position of a pro-life candidate. I'm in favor of preserving and protecting a woman's right to choose. And your effort to continue to try and create fear and deception here is unbecoming. It's an issue that's important. I'm, I've established my view very clearly. And Shannon, you were a pro-life candidate I'm when you came into, to, when you came into the House. Plan. Isn't and, that and, right? And I have a strong pro-choice record that I can run on. And I think you have to stand on your record. And I think you have to stand on your, the statements that you've made. And I think you've been running away from those statements. I've been standing on my record throughout my career. You don't have a, a record. <laughs> it's one of waffling. I, 
Shannon, I think this debate should be raised just sure. one notch. Let me turn. Right, and let's let's make sure that we each can establish what sure. our own views and positions are. Let me My turn. view is very clear. I've said it time and again. Stop trying to scare people. When I'm governor, and I'm convinced I will be, I will preserve and protect a woman's right to choose, and all the confusion you try and throw this on this issue is doing nothing to help people. Okay.